Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and I thought I'd give the Nikon a try. I know I this site's all been, been Canon, and Nikon seems to be trying to catch up. Um, and what I've done is, in this video, I wanted I want to do a shootout between the D5100 and the Canon T3i, and I've got both cameras in for review. And one of the first things I ran up against before I could even start is you know learning how to use the Nikon and setting the exposure manually. So watch this video. I record it with my camcorder. Hopefully the quality is okay. And I'm comparing setting up the exposure on a digital target um, with a T2i, and I'm comparing it with the 5100. So enjoy. You know I really haven't been giving Nikon that much attention on my site, so I thought it'd be fun to do a review of the D5100, which is very similar to the T2i and even more similar to the T3i, which I actually have over here and I just haven't unboxed yet. But I wanted to get a feel for the difference between the T2i since I'm familiar with that first. In both lens, um, I have a Sigma 30. Uh, one's made for Nikon, one's made for Canon. So, what this video is about is setting exposure. Um, between these cameras. So first let's do the um, the Canon T2i since that's the one I'm familiar with. And I've just got a digital target and I'm just going to calibrate. And you can see I've got Magic Lantern booting up here. Which is kind of nice because I have a little histogram. So what I want to do is properly expose. You can actually see, I don't know if you can see it's blue and it's all dark here and the histogram's way off. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the exposure. And right now I have it on um, um, I'm, I'm controlling the ISO manually and I'm on manual mode for video. So I can control the shutter, I control the ISO, and I control the aperture all separately. Okay, so basically what I've got here is I've got ISO at 200. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I got 50th of the second, I'm at 8, 1080. So I'm just going to press my finger here on the AV button. And up here on the top, I'm just going to take the jog wheel and start to move it. I'm moving it down. You can see I just lost the blue lines. I'm at 3.2. And you can see now on the histogram, I've got three spikes. And they're not very even. So I'm just going to keep going here. I'm at 2.8. Um, you can see it's moving up. And when I get that in about the middle, like right about there, you can see that they're all three are nicely stacked. Um, and even if I press the shutter halfway down, you can see on the actual meter, um, it's showing it's a little overexposed, but um, that's actually, I think, more of a correct exposure. It's probably more like 2.2 right there. All right, so we've done the Canon. All right, let's move over to setting the exposure on the Nikon. I'm just going to press this button, turn it back on again. All right. <laughs> So I'm at 50 a second and I'm at f2. So I want to move that to 2.2 like the other camera. Just to be just to kind of do apples to apples kind of comparison, right? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I've got this on shutter priority. There you go, you can see it now. And there's aperture. So I'm gonna to go to shutter priority. And it turned off again. I haven't <laughs> learned how to do this yet. So I'm gonna press this button down here and rotate this and you see oh now I'm at 2.2 right and I quickly go into live mode and then I press the AV lock button right there AV lock so now I am set for 2. Point, oh it just changed 2.5 well crap now what I want to test here real quick is if I move the camera and I point it outside, is it going to adjust? And you see it didn't darken down, which is good. So we know we're locked, right? But why did it go 2.5? Let's try that again. So I'm going to go out of live mode. I'm at 2.5. I want to be at 2.2. So I'm going to press this down, change that to 2.2. Okay? Now I go to live mode, press the lock button. Oops, press the lock button. And now, I'm at 2.2, 1 50th second, ISO 200. If I take it and I rotate it towards the light, and you can see it's keeping the exposure locked. So, I believe I've done this the correct way. If I would like 
anybody else that is a Nikon person to let me know if I've done this correctly. Because I've got, if you go into the menu, sorry, I'm using a, an old camcorder, so uh, let's go to ISO sensitivity. I've set to 200. And if I go back to, uh, forgive me for not knowing these. If I go into F controls, and you'll see that I, ah, oh, crap. Shoot. Okay, so I'm on AE hold. So that's how I was able to hold that when I pointed it towards the window. And I think that's it. Let me just check if there's anything else I changed. I'm looking for stuff that's familiar. ISO settings. Uh, 